Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will learn what is Bitcoin. Before starting this video, scroll down, click on the subscribe button and also the bell icon to receive the latest updates. Bitcoin has finite supply, but not all units are in circulation yet. The only way to create new Bitcoin is through a process called mining, the special mechanism for adding data to the blockchain. When Alice makes a transaction to Bob, she is not sending funds in the way you'd expect. It's not like the digital equipment of handling him a dollar bill. It's more like her writing on a sheet of paper that everyone can see that she is giving one dollar to Bob. When Bob goes to send those same funds to Coral, she can see that Bob has them by looking at the sheet. The sheet is a particular kind of database called a blockchain. Network participants all have identical copy of this stored on their devices. The participants connected with each other or to synchronize new information when a user makes a transaction, they broadcast it directly to peer-to-peer -to -peer network. There isn't a decentralized bank or institute to process transfers. In order to add new information, the Bitcoin blockchain uses a special mechanism called mining. It's through the, this process that new blocks of transactions are recorded in the blockchain. Bitcoin is a digital form of cash, but unlike fiat currencies you are used to, there is no central bank controlling it. Instead, the financial system in Bitcoin is run by thousands of computers distributed around the globe. Anyone can participate in the ecosystem by downloading open source software. Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency announced in 2008 and launched in 2009. It provides users with the ability to send and receive digital money. What makes it so attractive is that it can't be censored, funds can't be spent more than once, and transactions can be made anytime from anywhere. People use Bitcoin for a number of reasons. Many appreciate it for its permissionless nature. Anyone with an internet connection can send and receive it. It is a bit like cash in that no one can stop you from using it. But its digital presence means that it can be transferred globally. Nobody knows. Bitcoin's creator used pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto but we don't know anything about their identity. Satoshi could be one person or a group of developers anywhere in the world. The Satoshi name is of uh, Japanese origin, but Satoshi's mystery of English has led many believe that he, she, they originate from an English-speaking country. Satoshi published a Bitcoin white paper as well as a software. However, the mysterious creator disappears in 2010. Thanks guys for watching my video, please do like, share and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to receive the latest updates. To know more about cryptocurrency, learn the latest news, reviews, follow Coin Crunch India, links are in the description.